Hi, I'm Dr. Howard S. Glazer, and I'm here today with the inventor of a very, very cool device that can be used every day in general practice by the dentist, and if the hygienist is numbing the patient beforehand, depending on the State Dental Practice Act, they can use it well. Dr. Sargon Lazarov has invented one of the coolest things in anesthetic delivery, and it's called the Numbi. Tell us how this came to be. Well, in order to do a PDL injection, uh, we typically take a needle and insert it in the periodontal membrane, and it's very painful. Uh, but th what that's doing is creating a seal so the anesthetic can travel through the membrane to the apex of the tooth. So what the Numbi does is creates the same seal, but it creates it in the sulcus. It doesn't penetrate the PDL. So you have a very dull tip uh, that goes between the gum and the tooth, and as soon as the seal is created, you just start squeezing and introduce the anesthetic, and anesthetic travels through the PDL. So the it's air. actually just like an infiltration injection. We learn in school all the time, as you well know, to do a PDL, but we're perforating the tissue. This, we're just creating a seal. We're blanching the tissue, yeah. so we know we've effectively created a seal. Yeah. And then we can slowly infuse or slowly infiltrate. In I like that term that you coined. Yeah. It's yeah. infusion, it's not an injection. So what I've also called coined Sargon, because I use this all the time, uh, I call this the altruist injection. Right. You know, because right. I treat a lot of children. Some of them happen to wear 46 extra long because they're scaredy cats. <laughs> and I say, look, it can't possibly hurt you because I'm just tapping your skin and there is no needle here. And once I've made that contact, I can slowly inject, I don't know if you can see, but there's fluid coming out very slowly. And once I have that, I have created an anesthesia for a single tooth. It will have some leakage to the adjacent tooth on either side, some numbing but primarily I will have it just for that primary tooth. For once, the greatest thing that we've had is we can now give a painless palatal injection. So we all know the most hurtful injection we give is a palatal injection. But if I'm slipping this into the sulcus and just infiltrating or infusing that tissue with anesthetic fluid, yeah. I'm not raising that, I'm not tearing tissue. It's really a painless injection. You know, in dental schools, we were taught to explain to the patient exactly what we're doing. You know, uh, we come in with a needle, you know, I'm gonna do it slowly and, you know, but this is exactly the opposite. In my practice, I don't even tell the patients that are scared, they're sitting in the chair, I don't tell them I'm numbing them. I just go in there and I put this between the gum and click, 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 and I start working. Now, what's interesting, I'm sure you've experienced it, the patient doesn't know that the tooth is numb because they're used to having the whole lip that and jaw. Feeling, yeah. yeah, but what I know is as soon as I see that blanching around the tooth, the tooth is numb. I start working and the patient often is surprised that the procedure is done because they never saw that needle. So they turn around and says, when did you finish? Because I never saw you numb the tooth. Yeah, and that's the interesting thing. We have to lose the term needle because this is really a cannula. There is nothing sharp about this other than the concept is really sharp. Yeah. But even the, even the box on the counter, I rarely put boxes of products on the counter. But this is what we call gravity fed. So you simply have to reach in and pull out a numby. But when I leave the box on the counter, the patient sees that and they automatically, what is that? And it's a great conversation starter as to, hell, I, if I have to numb you, I can give you a painless anesthetic. And the patient goes home and tells their friends that I just had this dental procedure without a needle. And next thing you know, you just get a call from her so friends. So this, the, the end tip here will articulate about 30 degrees. Yeah. Anything more than that, you would bend the cannula and therefore it would prohibit it. Actually, on, on, it's a unidirectional. You can go almost, you know, 45 degrees. Almost 45 yeah. degrees. Okay. So, which is nece you know, necessary to go in, in the posterior region. Posterior region, which is fine. Right. And we show it here with uh, like a Cytoject type, type of syringe, which is, this is a proprietary one to Numbi because it's the only one with a spring that allows you to release the plunger. But it can be used as I've used it with things like an intralig or a perio-press or any of those. So you can adapt this to an aspirating syringe. Yes. So it's really universal in its application. Yes. Absolutely. So, if you want more information about this, or you want to see the video on this, the website would be? Uh, Biodentinc.com, so www.biodentinc.com. Terrific. Thanks for a great time and a, and a great interview, and thanks for making Numbi happen. Thank you. Thank you.